이렇게 차려워 내일은 더 빛나지 당연해 내 삶은 샬라 그 다음엔 괜히 해서 뭐해 걱정 I got no worries no I got no worries Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Serena Elizabeth Welcome and welcome back to my channel It is another weekend so that means it is another vlog so over the course of the week i have um done my second therapy session i didn't record it um it was not as an emotional of a session and i'll get into that probably later on in the vlog when i have a chance to sit down and talk to you guys more about it but i also finally um came into seeing my daughter's ad and so I'm actually going to head to the mall to see if I see any in-store advertisement for Janae. So that's what we're doing today and I am bringing you guys along with me. So if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. And before we get into this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, sis, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, join the girl tribe. On my channel, we talk about love, life, finances and everything in between so make sure you are locked and loaded and subscribed and hit the post notification bell so that you are in the know each and every time i drop a video i drop a video twice a week every sunday every thursday and sometimes on other days too so let's get into the vlog sis i will see you in the next clip <laughs> I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you shoddy her Easter pictures taken yeah. with the bunny today so that's what we are doing after that I'm not all that sure but I wanted to take you along with me let you see the behind the scenes of just a little photo shoot um, and see what she's wearing and stuff like that I'll show you once we get there oh and <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed by now, sis, what you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Girl Tribe. Um, we talk about everything, love, life, finances, and everything in between. I currently have an ongoing series for 
um, building your credit score. I actually also have another series, um, A Day in the Life of a Momager, that is ongoing, and some other stuff that we do on the channel. So if you're interested, you like that kind of content, make sure you are locked and loaded. I drop a video twice a week, every Sunday, every Thursday, and sometimes on other days too. And I will see you in the next clip. photographer's house and um, Janae took her picture so I can't wait to show you all those um, what they come out as but I'll insert a clip here so that you can see what you know she was looking like behind the scenes and all of that good stuff we are gonna stop at McDonald's to get something to eat real quick and um, then we're gonna head over to my parents house um this is McDonald's right here so then we're gonna head over to my parents house I look a little dried out a little sad because <laughs> not sad but like in my feelings a little bit so you know like I said she um took my wedding photos and um she knew my husband from what she knew of him mostly through me but you know she didn't meet him at the wedding and all of that and so she just knows how long we were together and just how shocking it was and you know she's just encouraging me to kind of you know get through what I need to get through so that I can move on with life and I definitely agree and know that that's what I need to do but the to get through it the motivation that the 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 willpower the you know okay the 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 know-how the process that is needed in order for me to get through what I need to get through to move on is like oh no baby they don't have that but you can have a sprite if you'd like and uh, happy meal no apple slices okay can I have a small fry with a small orange juice please one, one I'm sorry. Oranges. I'm sorry. Not orange juice. Can you make that a sprite? I'm sorry. Can you make it a sprite and not an orange juice? Anything else? Yes. Can I have a strawberry banana smoothie? Medium. Um. Yeah. Anything else? Um. Yeah. Make that two small fries. All right. And that's it. So your total is gonna be seven sixty-five, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Munchkin. So yeah, so you just saw me. Okay, you just heard what I ordered. I got a smoothie and a small fry for me and um, a Sprite and a small fry for her. But yeah, so anyway, so that was a conversation. Again, just her, you know, feeling for me, empathizing with me and also like encouraging me to you know get on a good foot and do what I need to do because there is so much life left in me which is definitely true I think I have like gotten comfortable with the idea of I don't want to go down that road again I don't want to have to deal with that kind of hurt again I don't want to have to deal with being close to anyone like that again to you know lose them or be disappointed or go through the different things that you know you go through in relationships I feel like I'm like tapped out I don't want to I don't want to do it you know but I know I have to, I don't have to but I have to heal what's going on in me so that that could become an option if it is something that I wanted to do
have family. So <sighs> that was my lesson for today. My lesson is that I can't come, I can't become or allow myself to become complacent um, in a situation out of fear. Obviously, my fear is getting close to somebody again. Obviously, my fear is, you know, being disappointed, um, kissing a bunch of frogs to try and, you know, get that level of love and understanding and, and relationship that I had with him, which is like, you know, one of a kind, you know, um, I know, I, I don't want to say I know, but I feel as though I wouldn't get another shot at that kind of love again because I definitely feel like he was my twin flame it's basically you're the same flame cut in two if you look at it like just from a visual aspect you're a part of the same flame the same match and split in half so you're literally the same and you are and and what they say about twin flame is that you know um you come together and um, it's to teach you something, right? So a twin flame is to teach you something, um, but it's, it's you and like you come together and you, and you go away, it's short lived, it's not really long. Now, um, he and I were together since I was 17, but we've had some coming together and some separating, coming together and separating and not just in a relationship sense, but physically, we were physically apart for several years, um, but always connected by love and always connected in our hearts and in our minds, but physically we were separated and um, then coming together back together physically and being together and having this life and this family and all of these things and then um you know it it, it took its course and it was what it was um it was what it was so shocking to so many people he was like you know everybody's just like I just don't understand it he was like looking at him he was perfectly healthy he was very much fit and you know all of that like full of life not a thing wrong how could that happen um and you know I I, I still don't know I haven't yet brought myself to get down to the bottom of it because like in my mind it's like, what's the point? It's not gonna bring him back. Like, I'm just trying to get over this. Having to, you know, start, you know, calling the coroner's office and um, getting the details is just like pulling the scab off the wound that I am trying to just like heal. So I just don't even, at this point, I don't care. It hasn't made any bit of difference to our family. Um, and so, like, we're just trying to move on from it. So, I just have not really gotten to come down to, like, what happened. But um, that's just neither here nor there. But, um, yeah, moral of the story or what I got from my conversation with her is it's okay to move on. Um, it's oh, and not saying that that's what I want to do, like, because I really I'm not I'm just not there yet. My brother says the same thing to me as well. Um, like, Rainy, you got to move on. You don't want to be by yourself. You know, the kids are going to grow up. You're going to you know, you don't want to be by yourself through all of this. And then my brother will even throw out facts as far as like when it comes to money, um, you know, how much you need to retire between the ages of 65 and like 85 and you need 1.6 million and this and that and I'm like well I guess I just need to get to the bag then because I really just don't have it in me not right now I'm just not at a space where I can even consider it'll be a year next month I'm just not there like I really am not there I wish I was I wish I could move past it and just be like yeah 
you know, even my brother-in-law was like, you just got to be happy. Like, just be happy. And I'm like, I'm content with being by myself. Like, I just, I just don't have it in me to be willing to give myself to anybody else in that way. Like, I wouldn't mind, um, you know, companionship. Like, you know, being friendly with people but to like be close to them I I feel like that's going to be an issue for me um because I just I don't like being hurt I don't like being in my feelings I don't like being sad so if there's an opportunity for me to protect myself when it comes to that I'm gonna do that at all costs and if that means me being by myself then that means me being by myself and I'm cool with it but that may not be healthy and that may not be the best thing that I want to you know portray to my daughter and that's what it really boils down to you know my son he um is not like cool with it like he he doesn't want me to move on he's just like no like you know like daddy was was it for you like you had that you've been there you've done that you're good but you know that's him speaking out of his hurt and his feelings but So, I'm just going to stop talking. Um, we are almost at my parents' house. So, I will come and check back in with you guys a little bit later in the vlog. <laughs> and say hi to the vlog, Janae. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> this is Janae's little look. This is what she had on today. Down to the little gold slippers with the little crowns on them because she is mommy's little princess with her little rosette dress. Mommy did, you know, her hair has been blown out um since last sunday and so yesterday i just went through it again with a light flat iron and did a little bend in there and then went in with the flexi rods that i kept in until um this afternoon when we were getting her pictures taken so this is what her hair looks like half up half down Um, and I don't know, she'll probably wear her hair similarly for Easter. Her Easter dress is coming. Um, it's similar to this one, same color, but it's a little different. You'll see that on actual Easter Sunday. Hey, 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 family. Welcome and welcome back to the vlog. We are back home after spending the day at... <laughs> yeah, I got voice. yeah her little voice is hoarse so yeah we are back home and um we've been home for about maybe 30 minutes or so so i am just finishing up janae's little dinner you know her usual chicken nuggets and some sort of potato <laughs> today it's french fries and yes, um Love potatoes. She loves potatoes. Potatoes are really, really healthy. <laughs> I don't know about that. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in here and close out the vlog. I didn't show you guys what we got from the mall yesterday, so I wanted to show you that. Um, we were really going to the mall, as you know, to look for Janae to see if she was going to be in the Tommy store. And also because my niece was looking for something to wear for Easter. So um, I only bought something out of Forever 21 because a lot of the stores that my niece wanted to go into weren't um, stores that I would really get anything out of. So um, just wanted to show you what I got. Yeah, so got these little cute little shorts for Janae concert short in the yeah, size five and six paint stuff for me and she Janae wants this to be her YouTube so bad <laughs> so she got this other pink little shirt with a little tie detail in the front she picked this out 
Um, later. This was $9.99. Um, this shirt is for me. I have it by my mom and my mommy loves this. This is a, an Aaliyah shirt. Yeah, mine looks so cool. So I got that. Yeah, mine looks wicked. Yeah, Aaliyah looks wicked. Yeah, mine looks so cool. Yeah, mine looks wicked. Yeah, mine looks wicked. Yeah, mine looks wicked. This is for Janae. This is a Tupac household. Um, well, I love Tupac and Biggie, but um, definitely Tupac. Um, is this for me? That's for Janae. Why would that be so big? It's not too big, honey. And then I also got Janae another graphic tee. And Aaliyah one like mommy, so she can wear hers and I can wear mine. And then um, a jean skirt. So she got shorts and a skirt and then several tops. This it, this doesn't have a name, but this was $17.99. I ended up spending like $101 in there. There were some other things that I was gonna get, but there were some circumstances that were beyond my control that I couldn't like really shop the store the way I wanted to. So I spent $101. $4.94 in there. So that's what I got from the mall. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to show y'all what we got for Janae. I'm going to hang those things up in a few minutes. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in and say bye. Gotta say bye. Okay. So she said, yeah. don't forget to hit the like and make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Like and hit the notification bell and she said and give us a heart <laughs> what is that? okay can you stop putting your crayon on the clothes <sighs> all right bye bye she's tired so that's why she is just bouncing off the walls so <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish vegging out i was watching this show on netflix called ultimatum marry me or not and I watched basically like it halfway through all while I was at my mother's house. Now I'm about to finish watching it here and then take it down because, you know, it's an early start for me. I work like at 6 o'clock and I'm off by 2.30. So I am going to just veg out, wind down for the night. It's like 7 o'clock, 7.30. Um, so we're just about to wind down and go to bed so we will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching if yeah. you haven't already please make sure you give this video a thumbs up please make sure you like subscribe share and also hit the post notification bell so that you know each and every time i drop a video i drop a video twice a week every sunday and thursday over here we talk about love life finances and everything in between join the girl tribe and all that good jazz. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.